everyone. Welcome back. Thanks for joining me again. Today we have some really fun and pretty Valentine's DIYs I want to share with you, give you some inspiration. So the first one I am using um, just regular burlap. I had this material and any type of material you have at home. I just picked a few things and I traced out a little heart and now I'm just taking the glue gun and gluing it and then I'm going to put some polyfill inside. The fun part about this, you can use any type of material you have at home. Um, use any type of embellishments. Um, I just grabbed a bunch of things, buttons and little flowers and pearls, just to make it really pretty. I mean, you really can do a lot with these little tiny hearts. They're so cute. So I'm just applying a little bit of the polyfill inside and then leaving the corner open and then I'm going to hot glue the end. Just putting a little bit because they're tiny hearts. You don't want to overstuff them. So now I'm going to close up the hole with a hot glue gun. I have enough stuff in in there and this is how it came out. Now I'm taking the red one, I'm doing the same exact thing, taking some polyfill, filling it and then doing the hot glue, closing it up. So I did all the little hearts. Um, there's four of them. Now I'm going to take some of these little pearls that I got from Dollar Tree and I put them through a little piece of yarn and I'm going to start embellishing, embellishing. <laughs> I'm going to start decorating the little hearts. I'm going to take a little lace from Dollar Tree and create a little bow, but I'm going to place the little pearls underneath it. Um, gives it a little character. I'm trying to make it you know, I don't know, farmhouse. I don't know what I'm going for, but rustic. I think it's cute though. You'll see. So I'm just taking the hot glue gun. I'm going to place a little glue and uh, I'm going to place the bow right over that. I'm just using Dollar Tree lace and just creating a simple little bow and placing it right over the little pearls. You see how cute it is? It's adorable. I mean, you can decorate any way you like. I like the pearls and the simplicity of the ribbon, the lacy ribbon. Now I'm placing a pink button down. I mean, just to give it a little color. It's adorable. All right, so I'm gonna work on, not the red one. I decided to work on the white one. And I'm going to take the buffalo check ribbon that I got from Dollar Tree and create a little tiny bow. I made this little round circle out of the white yarn. I just like glued it into a circle because um, I wanted to place a little white pearl on top of it. So now I'm just going to hot glue down the ribbon. Um, also, I'm going to be using this little key that I got from Hobby Lobby. It came like in a pack of four. Um, just wanted to add it to it. I think it looks cute. And that's how it came out. This one is my favorite. I like this one. I used the microfiber cloth from Dollar Tree. That's the material I used on this one. It came out really nice. Now I'm going to work on the red one, trying to figure out what um, ribbon to use on this one. So I decided to use the Dollar Tree um, lace ribbon. So on this one, I'm not making a bow. I'm just going to do a, like a little crisscross, not a crisscross, but just cross over the ribbon. Um, I don't know how to explain it, but you could see it looks cute. And then I'm going to place down two little white pearls that I got from Dollar Tree. I think this sets it off very nicely. So the white one that I made, I didn't like the black and white checkered ribbon. <laughs> you know me, I change things all the time. So I found fabric that I liked better and I just cut a little piece out and made a little ribbon. I think it looks much better.
Now I'm going to be working on the little beige one. So I just grabbed a different type of material that I had and just cut little pieces and little pieces of the lace. I wanted them all to look different, so I'm just going to hot glue it to the corner of the heart. So now I'm going to take one of Dollar Tree's uh, buttons and glue it right in the corner. And this is how they all turned out. They're very pretty. All right, next DIY. This is a fun one. Um, I took the Dollar Tree pan, Dollar Tree magnet um, storage containers. They're like magnet in the back. And I'm using this pink paint and I'm gonna apply three coats. So there's the containers. They actually came this color. I didn't have to paint them. So I'm just gonna use the front piece of it, not the back piece of it. and. This comes with like one of the Dollar Tree little dusters. Um, they're like white little fuzzy dusters. Now I'm going to use this uh, craft chalk paint. Craft. <laughs> chalk, chalk paint. I can't talk today. Oh my God, help me. So I already did like one coat and I'm going to do the second coat on it. Now I have to paint inside those little containers and I'm using the same exact color, the white. Now everything is dry, we're going to start putting things together. I have this craft paper from Hobby Lobby and I'm just going to place it inside it. I thought it would look cute inside it, so I'm just going to place it in there and kind of like bend it to get an idea where I have to cut it. Now I'm just going to place down a little hot glue because I think I can use this uh, maybe all year round. I mean, I can use it for Easter and other um, holidays. So I'm taking these little wood rounds that I got from Dollar Tree and I'm going to hot glue it inside there because I need something to support the little um, stick that I'm going to have to hot glue in there to make like the axle for the wagon. Now I'm going to start placing down the stick with some hot glue. If you want it stronger, you can use like E6000 or super glue. I just um, use the, the hot glue right now. I did have to hold it in place for a good minute or so. It's so stinking cute, look at it. So now I'm just gonna hot glue down the axle wheels in the back with some hot glue. I'm adding a lot of glue just to reinforce it so it doesn't like fall off. <laughs> now I'm adding the other axle down with a lot of hot glue. So now I'm going to add the handle to the wagon and I'm um, just going to apply it in the back with some glue. Although it probably needed some E6000 because it's not really secure because of the axle in the way. And look how adorable this came out guys. It's so cute. Now I'm going to take these little stickers that I got from Dollar Tree and I'm going to take the one that says love you so much or something and I'm just going to take a little hot glue and glue it to the side of the wagon.
All right, so this is the fun part. I'm gonna take a bunch of flowers that I got from Dollar Tree and those pretty little hearts that I made, we're going to put them in there as well. So I'm just gonna take a few of the green greenery that I got from Dollar Tree and place some of the hearts around and just kind of make it look really pretty and rustic looking for Valentine's. This is so cute. I love the way it came out and I love the little hearts and the flowers and everything in there. It just looks so pretty. And this is what it looks like. It came out so cute. I love this little thing. Look how adorable guys. And here's the end results and I hope you like it. Alright, moving on to the next DIY, took this Hobby Lobby craft paper, I'm going to use the Dollar Tree heart again so I can create a little heart outline. I'm using the Dollar Tree um, wood frame in the back that I painted previously white. So I'm using this Dollar Tree heart, I'm going to trace it on the craft paper, cut it out, and then I'm going to place it on another craft paper. I hope you guys are enjoying this video. If you are, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the like button. It really helps my channel grow. Also, don't forget to hit the notification bell. This way you're notified every time I upload a new video. This way you won't miss out on any of the exciting videos I upload. So now that I have my heart, I'm going to take this other craft paper that I got from Hobby Lobby and I'm going to cut it out, place it over the white square box. All the supplies are bought from Dollar Tree except the craft paper. Now I'm cutting out the craft paper to size and then I'm going to be using some Mod Podge to apply it. So I'm taking some Mod Podge and applying it to the craft paper and then apply it on the little wood frame. Now I'm placing down the craft paper on the wood piece. I like this craft paper, it's very pretty for Valentine's. Now I'm taking the heart that I cut out and I'm placing some Mod Podge on that as well. And I'm gonna place that down on top of the other craft paper. And this is like handwritten, like a handwritten note. It's very pretty. So now we're moving on to the next. I was going to use um, a stencil for the birds and I decided to just print the birds. And these are very pretty. So I'm gonna take this glue stick, apply them on top of the heart. Now I'm going to be using this fabric lace that I have and I'm just going to apply it on the corners with a little bit of hot glue. I think the lace really sets it off very nicely, makes it look very elegant. So once I have the lace uh, glued on the sides, I'm going to cut off the excess. It's very pretty. This is how it came out so far. I wanted to add a little bit of color, so I grabbed these little cutout butterflies that I got from Dollar Tree. I'm just going to place some of the glue stick in the back and place them on top. And I think this really looks very nice. 
This came out very pretty. All right, we're on to the next DIY. Actually, this is the last DIY. So um, this came out really cute. I wanted to add a little bit of red into my theme because everything is pretty much pink. So I'm going to be taking these Dollar Tree glass, looks like fish jars, <laughs> and then these little candle holders. My first instinct was to use the glitter, the red glitter, but you'll see I don't use it. It reminded me too much of Christmas, um, but I wanted to show you anyways because it's in the actual video because once I start gluing everything together and you'll see. So right here I'm taking the hot glue gun and placing some glue in the back and I'm going to place the little glass fish jar on top. So here you'll see that I removed the glitter and everything is nice and clean. I'm going to take these Dollar Tree little um, strips of diamonds and pearls and I'm going to wrap the fish bowl with one strip and then a little bit at the bottom as well. So I'm repeating the same process on the other um, fish bowl as well. I think it looks pretty with the little diamonds and the pearl all wrapped around. Looks very nice. Now I'm going to be placing diamonds or jewels that I got from Dollar Tree and these candles that I got from Dollar Tree and start placing them inside. I'm also going to be placing some of this Dollar Tree stuff that I got for Valentine's, a table scatter or whatever it's called. Now I'm placing in um, the Dollar Tree candle. It's an actual real candle. Um, it was kind of a tight fit, so I was kind of like having a little hard time getting everything in between the candle. But it, I managed to get it to work and it looks really pretty. Now I'm filling both of them up with the Valentine's scatter. Now I'm going to take these Dollar Tree little lips and I'm going to place one on each one of the little glass fish bowls. I don't know what you want to call them. I call them fish bowls. So the bottom part of the candle holder, I decided to use some of these little Valentine um, pieces. I'm just using some Mod Podge and I'm applying the little hearts all around the bottom part of it. This came out really pretty. I think it's very, very cute for Valentine. It's something different. And this is how they turned out. That's it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I do appreciate it. Until next time, guys, I'll see you. Bye-bye.